way. And breaking very fast, Pips Pride towards the far side. Pips Pride and Montand right up with him as well. And towards the near side is Rain Brother showing very good speed. Thurios running very fast in the centre, but Pips Pride just about the overall leader over on the left. Pips Pride on the left, Gara's well up there too, and Stack Rock also on the near side. Hamas is well in the picture, then comes Rain Brother. Just in behind them come College Chapel and Lester Piggott, but it's Hamas and Gara disputing it now from Stack Rock on the near side, Rain Brother. Then just in behind them come College Chapel. Pips Pride over on the left of the picture. Foul fly with a sheepskin noseband trying to get into it. They're racing down now towards the half way mark and as they do so Gara has the advantage it's Gara from Hamas College Chapel towards the stand side Rain Brother losing ground under pressure Silver Wizard trying to get in the argument Keen Hunters come there strongly on the far side but Lester Piggott coming there on the near side on College Chapel to take it up and it's College Chapel now from Keen Hunter Montand over on the far side and then Dolphin Street racing into the closing stages and it's College Chapel from Keen Hunter as they race up towards the line. Lester and Principal Brown win it. College Chapel, the winner, Keen Hunter is second. Dolphin Street is third and Montan fourth. That's the one, two, three, four in the 1993 Cork and Orrery Stakes in which Lester Piggott has won his ninth Cork and Orrery. And Vincent O'Brien with College Chapel, his own horse, has won his fifth Cork and Orrery. The result, first number six. College Chapel in the colours of Mrs. Vincent O'Brien, Jacqueline O'Brien, trained by Vincent O'Brien, his 25th Royal Ascot winner, and ridden by Lester Piggott. Second was number one, Keen Hunter, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by John Gosden, and ridden by Michael Roberts. And third, number 16, Dolphin Street, owned by Mr. Stavros Niarchos, trained by John Hammond, and ridden by Kevin Darley. Fourth was number nine, Montage. So Lester wins his ninth Cork and Orrery. He won eight of them between 1958 and 1979. And College Chapel retains his unbeaten record. What a superbly written race this was. There's Lester three from the right, not on the best ground, but waiting his time as up front, Gara and Hamas were blazing a trail. Pips Pride on the far side, just starting to come to the end of his tether. And Lester waited and waited. There must have been a temptation to go, but he's held on to his horse. He's kept him beautifully balanced, while the leaders still have a couple of lengths on him. And Keen Hunter in the center of the course, and the Sheikh Mohammed colors he makes first run drifts a bit to the left as he makes his run but then when Lester says go this horse finds three lengths quickly goes a length clear now having hit the front he runs about a little bit and Michael Roberts comes back at him on Keen Hunter but this horse has got the resources he's unbeaten it's only the third run of his career but there's no danger in the last hundred yards and the cheers of the Irish I should think could be heard and Windsor this was a great success for Vincent O'Brien and Lester Piggott, once again, at the age of 57, rides another Royal Ascot winner. Returned, favoured at 7-2. So, for the 25th time, Vincent O'Brien, at the age of uh, 76, in the winner's circle at Royal Ascot. And Jerry Gallagher there, walking to the left of the horse as we see them. Vincent O'Brien's traveling head lad, been with him for over 40 years. I saw the horse out with Jerry this morning, and uh, what a picture he looked. Being led in by Vincent. And great cheers for this memorable time. Jacqueline greeting this very useful coat